I had to bring out the Champagne <clears throat> because we have some new characters. We finally meet the entire cast of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. In my opinion, it's too many people. Let's just go ahead with, with this review. Um, we uh, It left off where it ended last week with Tiara Marie turning up at Ray J's launch party for his website. Um, Ray J is trying to hold back Princess. I don't think Princess is about that life like Tiara is. And I don't think she um, was trying to hit Tiara at all. Um, so, yeah. If it wasn't for those men, Tiara definitely would have got some licks in on um, the princess. So Tiara Marie is over in the corner turning up in her yellow suit. Morgan breaks through the publicist. Or is she, what is she to Ray J? His assistant, I think. She breaks over and gets over to Tiara. Apparently her and Tiara, you know, was cool or whatever. And Morgan was like, why are you turning up at my event? This is my event. Why are you turning up at my event? And Tiara was calmly trying to talk to her. She was like, we were friends. Why are you doing this? And Tiara, you know, just puts her hands on her. She, I don't think she was trying to be violent with Morgan at all. Morgan goes crazy. Just don't touch me. Don't touch me. Like, doing the most. And I was like, oh, girl. Looking like June Ambrose and Free from 106 and Park. Who do you think you are, Miss Morgan? This is my party and this and that. Well, did you see what the precious did or the princess did you see what she did and the frog did you see what just mad disrespectful now did i think that tiara was coming to the party to turn up anyway probably but the princess just gave her a reason i would have been pissed too that was disrespectful and very messy of that princess chick um yeah they escort tiara out she's saying shit on the way out we move on to the next scene. Uh, Monice, which is Lil Fizz's crazy baby mama, and April, which is Omarion's uh, baby mother. Hey, looking at clothes, I guess. April talking about how horny she is. Monice is very much like, okay, well, bitch, um, just stay tuned because I have a sex toy line. Word on the street. I believe one of my, um, one of my lovely subscribers uh, may have mentioned in the comments, or I read somewhere, that... Um, Actually, Monice, it, she works at a sex toy company, you know, who, who sells sex toys or whatever. And I guess she sells them. But she's not, she don't actually have her own, or maybe not yet. Maybe she's working on it. I don't know. But yeah, they meet up. Um, Monice is very much like, look, I want to meet this Amanda chick. Amanda is Lil Fizz, new piece. And, um,. She wants to meet him because her because she's spending a lot of time with her son Cam, and it's just like no, I need to know what the hell is going on with this Amanda chick. And um, April, she says in her confessional, she was like, you know what, she she talks a little bit game, she talks a good game, Kelly Rowland. But I feel like if she truly cared about her son, she would make more of an effort to be there. And everybody is saying the same thing about Monice. And she's not really there for her son. Like she's, you know, she's going off all the time on this show about her son, her son, her son. But in real, true life, for real, for real, not in Mona Land, she ain't really there. So what's going on, Miss Monice lady? Girl, she's pretty though. Good Lord, she's pretty. She's that shit, that shit. I like her. Okay, speaking of Fizz, we get into Fizz. You know, she's very much playing stepmama, the Amanda girl. She's there. She's um, laying him down to sleep, my soul to keep. And um, Ophelia was like, look, you know, I'm glad you're here with Cam. We've actually been dating or been together for two years. Now, how in the hell Monice haven't met her yet? And they've been together for two years. Fizz must really hate Monice. It's, it's deep and very dangerous. Like, Lofiz has zero respect for Monice, that, as, as the baby mother, that she, he, she hasn't even met his current. You know, it's just like, wow. Amanda's very much like, look, Monice got in touch with me. She wants to talk to me. Fizz is like, look, you don't know um, Monice like, I'm on, like I know Monice. Okay, you don't know money like I know money. Okay, don't do it, bitch. Don't do it. Don't do it. 
She's like, oh, we're both adults, you know, we're both grown women. I'm sure it's not going to get out of control. Moving on to the next scene. We meet who I've been the most excited to meet or to see. We meet Nikki. Nikki is, what did she say? She said she's Arab, Italian, her mom, and the dad and the daddy is Moroccan. Um, she gives me very much plastic J Lo. Very much J Lo mixed with Mariah, because you know Mariah with the little dresses and the boobs, the, the curly hair. Yeah, she's very plastic J Lo mixed with Mariah. She's a pretty girl, but she is very much man made. That ass is out of control. It's just stuff with all kind of jello shots and stuff. It's just fun. I just want to smack it and play with it. But anyway, her family is very successful in real estate. And um, her family owns strip clubs. Eh, interesting. Does grandma come by? And um, she's like, I'm a boss bitch. And um, I messed with this guy named, producer named Mally Mal. We're going to meet Mally Mal a little later. And I'm not impressed. And she's just like, look, this is my man. I'm looking up for moves. She meets with this guy named, what the hell was the guy named, y'all, that she met up with? His name was um, Sincerity, Sincere. I think Sincere, something like that. Ray J going to meet up with his ass later on. N.T. Way. Yeah, moving on from that scene. She wasn't really talking about nothing, but, you know, it was nice to meet Miss Jello Shot. How about that? Young bird, this bastard. We meet Young Bird. Young Bird, even on his Twitter um handle, it says hit maker. Okay, y'all remember that Young Bird song? Y'all remember that hit song that he had made? It, the, the name of it was No, but he he said that he don't remember in that video. I think he was with Lil Rami or somebody. And y'all remember that name? It, the name of that song was. And he, no, but he said that he know wrote a lot of stuff for people that made his. Because I think he wrote. I smell bullshit. You smell bullshit? I smell shit. You smell shit. It's just like, oh, Berg. He's very cocky. Apparently, he's working on new material with Nicki Minaj, Rihanna's, and things. Well, good luck to him. But um, I'm not really featuring Young Berg. Um. One reason is because um, a few years ago he made a comment about dark butts and meaning he calls women, particularly dark skin, black women, dark butts, that he don't do dark butts. And apparently we find out that his mother is dark skin. He's, he just seems very ignorant. Um, and, and this whole with guys, especially black guys, not liking dark skin women and a lot of times they're dark skinned themselves. So I'm just like, I don't understand that kind of thinking. I really don't. That whole slavery back in the day shit, like, it's really ignorant. There's beauty in all different shades and colors. Like, niggas wise up and get it together. Like, it's just really silly. And then he's not even that cute. He's fucking four feet two. Ugh. Anyway, Hazel walks in. Hazel E, old rapper. Publish, she was a publicist. She stopped that to be an underground rapper. Stupid. The ignorance of it all. So she um, comes in. She's like, you know, I've been messing with Young Berg for a while. But I still ain't got no libel. And you ain't gonna get one. He's sitting there very much like the king of the mountain. Like King Kong. Boom, boom in this bitch. And she's like, look, I want you to stop doing what you're doing. I deserve more respect. We've been messing around for a while now. He was like, look, you know how I am. Um, I mean, I have a woman for every night of the week, and that's just what the fuck it is, shawty, and it's real. My Angela said it best. When somebody tells you who, the, who they are, believe them, okay? He telling you straight up. It is what it is. Same thing with them, Tierra Marie. You know what these men are about, and, and they're rappers on top of that. Like, you looking for faith, you looking for somebody faithful, and they're young, and, and they're making money, buku money, probably. And it's just like, oh, girl. And she's too old for that. He's sitting there looking like her son. She very much looking like the mother. It was just an inappropriate scene. Okay, um, 
moving on from that, darlings, uh, we, um, I'm going to Mally Mally them in a minute. But Tierra Marie and Morgan meet up. Apparently, they used to have this kind of relationship where they was cool or whatever. But Tierra Marie was like, we very much fell out due to Ray J and everything. And just things, you know, similar to that and all that drama. Just drama. And um, they pretty much, Morgan is turning up. She's blaming the whole thing on Tierra. Now, Tierra definitely played a part. Um, she definitely threw the first punch, so to speak. But um, the princess girl was just extra messy. She was just very much blaming everything on Tiara. But then again, Morgan knows everything about Tiara. She knows her violent history because she was way, then, way back then, eight months ago, and even before that when her and Ray used to be together. She was like, she's came at me. She's came at Ray. She's just a fighter. And so they very much was like, look, we can agree to disagree. We can be cool or not be cool. But if a bitch try you in the club, I got you. Morgan was like, I got you too. <sighs> Mashika Malika. What the hell kind of name is that? Mashika Malika looks old. And she is this old video model. And she's a pretty woman though. But she... She must have been back in the 90s videos or something. But apparently she's been in some recent shit. So, hey. She is a model. She says she's an actress. Singer. Anyway, she's going with the Mally Mal. Now, if you listened closely, I mentioned Mally Mal was supposedly messing around with the Nikki girl, Jello Shots. But um, apparently Mally Mal got two women. He's a producer. They've been shacking up, having fun. He got this damn big bobcat or whatever the hell that was on the bed. It scared the shit out of me. What kind of cat was that, y'all? Y'all let me know. It scared me. It's just very much like, look, it is what it is. I love you. I want you to be my woman. <sighs> okay. Foolishness. Tierra comes by to see Miss Hayes, Hazel E, and they sit down and have moments. Hazel, you know, she's like, look, I know you're my, you my girl and everything, and that's why I was turned up with you, and that's just what it is. We sisters, Tierra Marie was, thank you for having my back and everything. They get into Young Bird. Tierra Marie was like, this nigga don't respect you. He don't like you at all, and you sit in there and defending him and want to be with him, and he just so cute, though. She was like, fuck cute. That's what got my ass in trouble. It got me a goddamn tattoo of a nigga who don't respect me. Who don't give two shits about me. Not one, but two shits about me. Okay? Listen to me, hooker. With your no edges and your platinum blonde hair. I know shit when I see shit. Hazel really ain't trying to hear it. And you can tell she's a little bit irritated. Um, Some radio show personalities. Too many fucking people. And so unnecessary. Um, she is interviewing Morgan and um, Nia Riley, Ricky Smiley, <laughs> Teddy Riley, daughter, are very much interviewing. And, and she pulls up this whole thing about um, Soldier Boy and Corinne Stephens. Apparently, Corinne Stephens posted this pic of Soldier Boy and them together like they're a couple. Nia has a fit because Nia's with Soldier Boy. Nia has a fit and she's just like, she's never seen this. It was just very embarrassing for the girl. I was just like. <sighs> Okay, why the hell is Morgan friends with everybody? Explain them. Why is she even on this show? I guess she's like the Aryan of the show, maybe. But she's friends with everybody. I don't know. But anyway, she's flabbergasted. She takes the headphones off and she storms out the building, darling. Nikki meet up with Morgan. Morgan fucking Morgan fucking Morgan. Damn free. She's everywhere in her raspy voice. Um... Nikki was like, look, who is this girl, Mashika Malika, or whatever the hell. Like, um, that can't be that child's real name. But anyway, she's just like, who is this chick? They all taking these pictures or whatever. It's like she disrespecting me. She taunting me because I know she know about me. Like, that's my man, and it is what it is. Like, she ain't going to never take my place. What the, who does bitch think this is? Morgan was like, look, I'm friends with you. I'm friends with Malika. Y'all both beautiful girls. Mally Mal ain't that cute, which is true. He's really not. I thought he was Fat Joe for a minute until I had to look. But Fat Joe actually looks better than him. He's, mm-mm. 
Oh, girl. Um, Man-made or not, Nikki, whatever her last name is, is bad. Miss Jello Shots. And uh, Mashika Malika is bad, too. And them fighting over him, I don't see it. It's not worth it, girls. Move on. But, of course, they're not. And that's going to... It's just the second episode, so we got a long time to go with the drama with that whole trio. Um, Amanda meets up with Monice. Monice, you know, she's very classy when she wants to be. She's very educated. She's like, look, I wanted to come here and whip your face off, but I'm not going to do that because we're women. They start talking and it goes downhill. Of course it does. Amanda was like, you know, you act like you want to see your child or something like that. And you pretty much don't see your child for weeks at a time. Like, what's going on? Monice was like, bitch, don't you think I call? And I do all that I can. I want to know where my son lays his head. I'm trying to be nice. It was just very, Amanda was kind of getting back with her, without, which I was proud of her. Uh, for getting back one with Monice, because Monice is that type of person to say any damn thing. She was kind of getting back with her, but um, yeah, she's she's a baby mama. She's always gonna be there, and it's just um, yeah, poor Fizz, right? What a girl wants, what a girl needs, what a girl wants, what a girl needs a guy to be there for her soulja boy beats up with nia no actually nia goes to see him he's practicing or whatever and she's um upset because this you posting this picture with corinne steph and hashtag superhead and i want to know what the fuck is going on um so nia and her little belly they go over and talk, and Soldier Boy was just real chill. He was like, I done been down through this before. I know what this is about. I'm sure you do, Negro. So they start talking, and he was like, so what about this picture that I see you with Korean Stephens? He was like, look, he already got this shit figured out in his head. He was like, look, I used to mess with Korean Stephens, but I no longer do, okay? We still cool. She was like, no, nigga. We got to get, what is, what is you doing with that bitch? Why is you messing with her? And um, Sister Girl ain't trying to hear it. And Soldier Boy just spin bullshit, to be completely honest. He was like, I used to mess with her. I no longer do. And sometimes she just posts shit randomly. But they old pictures. Bullshit. Nia, um, Soldier Boy tries to touch her. Like, trying to console her or whatever. She's like, no. She pushes his hand off. Like, no, don't touch me. He was like, okay, Shawty. <laughs> I respect your daddy and everything. But don't do it again. I beat the shit out you, I swear to God. You know my friend Chris Brown. We're going to move on to the last scene. On that. No, before that, Ray J meets with Sincere. He was like, look, Tiara got something coming towards her. All these men are very female-like. Like, very much, are they going to bust the windows out their car? I mean, mm, it's moments. Tia Marie invites all her girls. Um, well, not really. I don't think all of them was really her friends, but she just wanted an audience. She just wanted some attention. She invites them to get her tattoo removed. Um, she's very excited about getting this tattoo removed of Ray J. And it ended up being like X-ray or something, however the tattoo artist did it. And they're very excited. Um, Hazel E. invites Mashika Malika. Or Malika Mashika to the event because they friends. Um, it goes left real quick. Now, as I said earlier, you can tell Hazel was very irritated by the things T.R. had to say about her and Young Bug's relationship. But, um, excuse me. So, um, yeah, they was, it was just, you know, she was just like, Somehow something happened and it was very much just like, look, I wouldn't have got that nigga tattooed on my chest and that's just what it is. Because um, Hazel was very much, she started talking about Young Berg somehow and Tiara didn't want to hear that. This was her moment to shine. She wanted attention to be all on her and her x-ray tattoo. 
and uh, which is kind of cute when I think about it. <laughs> so um, they started getting into it, and T.R. Missouri was like, bitch, don't try it. Hazel E. looking like she was finna to do something, but you don't want it with Tierra. T.T. is from the D-Town. I got family members from Detroit. And child, Kenya, crazy ass Kenya Moore is from Detroit. It's, it's some, I know some folks from Detroit, okay? They turn up, indeed. So, um, yeah. That's pretty much the end of this episode. It looks like, oh my gosh, I almost freaking forgot, Jesus Christ. Okay. Before the freaking episode went off, Ray J comes out of nowhere and with a box of clothes and drops it um in the building. You know what they was doing the tattoo at. I was flabbergasted, darling. How fucking disrespectful. This ain't nothing but some editing and some Mona shit. Where the hell did Ray J come from? Who told him that they was gonna be at that tattoo place? And he just all of a sudden shows up with her clothes. Apparently the clothes that he ain't seen in damn eight months and apparently the clothes that princess took pictures of before she threw away just a mess the editing moments but yeah it was mad disrespectful for him to do that he said he got some for and i guess that was it surprise bitch i found your clothes i'm mr chalaki i'm mr chalaki on google plus follow me i am chase king was here on facebook and i'm at it's kings World on twitter y'all know what to do like 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 comment comment subscribe tell me your um opinions on this review and on this episode share we tweet all those moments darling all these jello shots and i really wish i had a jello shot to go with the champagne but anyway that was it love and hip-hop hollywood episode two y'all <sighs> it's getting down and it's getting dirty. Oh, bitch. It's 